Welcome to the Idaho Business Podcast, the only Idaho podcast focused on providing profits for Idaho people. If you love our state and love small business, you are in the right place. We interview local legends, learn business, and have way too much fun doing it. You're listening to the Idaho Business Podcast with your friend, host, and all-around great guy and owner of New Clean Commercial Cleaning, Spencer Ward. All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Idaho Business Podcast. You know, I hope you guys all have a fantastic weekend. I mean, Found the time to enjoy some some quality time with your loved ones, uh, your friends, uh, whoever it may be that you really enjoy spending time with. Um, as always, we're sponsored by HealthWest. These guys are a great organization. Find where they're located closest to you within Idaho and go give them a visit. See what they can do for you and your family. We're also sponsored by my, my, my company, uh, New Clean Commercial Cleaning. So if we can help you in any of your toilet scrubbing needs, your carpet scrubbing needs, uh, your your shiny floor scrubbing needs. Let us know uh, if you if you call us at two zero eight two five four seven zero seven zero and tell us you heard about us on the podcast. Uh, we'll give you a free sterilization of your entire office, absolutely for free, uh, just by saying you heard about us on the podcast. It's a good way to reset your office, keep your employees healthy during this uh, winter uh, flu season, and it's just a, a killer deal. So let us know. All right, everyone. You know, I was thinking over the weekend, you know, I had some time to spend with my my children, spend, uh, spend some time with my wife. We went to a, one of her, uh, she teaches uh, at a local university, she teaches art. We went to one of their uh, Christmas parties and uh, just enjoyed my time with her, enjoyed my time with my children this weekend. And I started to think, you know, I've got a lot of things, a lot of things to, to accomplish by the end of this year. And I'm still pushing. You know, what we talked about a few weeks ago about what are we, what are you trying to accomplish by the end of the year? That still applies. But also, you can still have a, a overall perspective of things as you're, as you're going forward as well. Uh, you can also say no to things when you need to, uh, to put your family first. And I was just, go, you know, thinking as my, as my, I've talked about it over and over again, you know, but, you know, my, my children, you know, especially my daughters, they, they, my my two older boys, and then my two younger girls. Like the, you know, we had boys first, girls last, and uh, they all loved to, to they love they love to wrestle, they love to you know rough house, they love to do that kind of stuff. So my my uh, girls are they're rowdy, they love to you know have fun with me, um, and, and my and they, all the kids like to get in in on it. So uh, on a daily basis. My little uh, four-year-old will come up to me. He's like, do you want a piece of me? <laughs> I tell you, I look forward to it because she is hilarious when she says it. And she just wants me to wrestle her. She just wants time with her dad. And I just started thinking, you know, how many times, you know, in the past have I said, hey, you know what, you know, later on or, or whatever, you know, and there's times that you just can't do it. You know, obviously you're in the middle of something or you're, you're, maybe you're working at home, you're, 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 you're you're in the middle of something really important or you can't drop a phone call. Um, but how many times are, are we um, remembering, I mean, or passing those moments by, you know, when we, when we have those moments pre- uh, presented to us uh, with our children. So it made me think, how, how can we be more present uh, in our, in our family's lives, our children's lives, as we, as we go forward uh, accomplishing our goals, because you can have both. You don't have to be a horrible parent as you're trying to be a titan of industry, um, and you 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 can still be a wonderful parent and still be uh, very f- effective and you know, productive in in your business or or in, in whatever leadership role you take within the company you work for. So I was thinking, you know, obviously I was just looking around today and I found some stuff on Daily Dad. You know, some some options that they came across, you know, to to really cherish the times and moments that you have left with your children. I was thinking today and last weekend, I was thinking, you know, my, my oldest is about to turn 12 um, this month. And I'm thinking, man, I've got literally six more Christmases with him before he probably leaves the house. And I'm just, and I, I 
And I look back and I think, man, I was starting my businesses when he was little, when he was born. Uh, you know, most of his little little childhood, I can I remember me being super stressed, me being super just, I, I got to gotta make this work. And I kind of feel bad as I go back looking at that, looking back at that time, thinking, and even my my second um, born's uh, birth and, and his little bit of his, his childhood, because I was constantly in go, go, go mode. And I, I still am. But now I feel like I can appreciate things more, you know, and I can appreciate, um, you know, obviously I have immediate needs met. But what I'm getting at is don't let that time slip by. You know, even even though I was trying to grow a company and start a company back then, you know, I still found found time to go, you know, go down and you know, grab a corn dog with my little boy and and have fun with him. But there, I know there was moments that passed me by that I, I'll never get back. And, it, and like I said before in the episodes before, you can't shoot in yourself uh, and 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 make yourself feel bad that way. O- only thing you can do is is look forward and think, okay, what what more can I do as I go forward? So, um, I know when I get home. You know, it's been a it's busy day at the office or wherever I've been doing. Um, I'll, 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 it's hard to turn off. You know, you get home, you're you're on your phone, you're doing a few th- text messages, whatever it is, or maybe you're just checking a few reels that your friends say, you. you know, laughing. But then, meanwhile, you're on your on your couch, wherever it is, and you're thinking, okay, I shouldn't be doing this because my my kids are here. I need to be spending time with them. I've spent all my time away from them today i need to be with them now so i do have digital uh like reminders on my phone that says hey you've been on you know looking at reels for 15 minutes now and it times me out which is a good reminder for me because you know it's it's easy to get sucked down that uh, that rabbit hole so putting putting away your phone uh when you get home is a, is a huge one as you're you're trying to you know spend more time with your kids uh, make time uh, for fun with your kids every day. If, it, if it, it could be as simple as wrestling, that makes my 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 kids' day. My girls, you know, and for my my boys, they just want me to listen to them. They just want me to talk. They want they want me to you know listen to what they're what they're playing on the piano, what they're playing on their trumpet or their guitar. They just want me to be there for them and respond to them. Um, so do do that kind of stuff, you know. Um, just remember, like you're. It's the biggest one right now. It's just I'll constantly think these kids are not always going to be with you. They're going to leave your house. They're going to have to stand on their own two feet later on. And what are you teaching them? What are you leaving with them? Are you leaving them with, hey, family wasn't important? Uh. Because you know, dad and mom are always just working, 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 and we came second, and that's that's what they see all day, all all day long, and all night long. Or hey, I remember mom and dad really taking time to put us first, even though they were swamped, they were busy, they were trying to do everything, you know. So that's that's things that are keep coming to me. Um, I obviously. You know, every moment with these kids are, is going to be a gift, even though sometimes you're just like, I want to strangle you because you're not going to bed or you are making your sister cry or whatever it may be, or you guys are in fist fight, you know, that's, it just happens. And that you're just thinking, man, okay, you need to, you need to go away from me right now. And sometimes that's what has to happen. You know, you got to get them to bed, get them to bed at a certain time. So you can have some time uh, alone as well, but it is it is such a gift to have time with these kids and and your loved ones and it's not this is not an episode just about raising your kids you know it's about even you know if you don't have kids you know what about your your friends your loved ones how do you want to be remembered do you want to be the the guy or the gal that always was just working and didn't have time to to enjoy life around them because when when this life is, when this life is over what are you gonna be able to say oh, yeah I accomplished this 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 in business but you know, no one liked me. <laughs> no, one, no, my kids don't want to come home uh, for the holidays. You know, my friends, I'm not invited to any, any parties because my friends aren't, you know, calling me anymore because I didn't have time. So make time. Make time to be more well-rounded. Make time 
to to enjoy the little things with your children. So obviously, go still try to accomplish the things you need to accomplish this year. Not not try, but make them uh, make them uh, be accomplished this year, and then still balance your time that you're. Hey, I'm home. I'm home for the night. I'm going to put away my 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 phone. Even if it's like, hey, you know what? I know I need to do a little bit more work in the evening. That's fine. Even if you put your phone away for a half an hour to an hour, put it on Do Not Disturb or something, and just went and had fun with your kids or went and enjoyed some time with your, your friends or, or called one of those friends you haven't talked to for a while, whatever it is, it's going to help you all the way around. Uh, your mental health is going to improve. Uh, just your overall happiness is going to be, uh, be able to improve and your, your overall production within the, you know, the business realms are, is going to improve because if you, if you, all you do all day long is just hunt and kill and hunt and kill and hunt and kill and you have no other life. I don't, I don't want to, that's not something I want to be a part of. So anyways, you know, it's not a lecture today, but I just, I, that's something that's been going through my mind a lot lately thinking, okay, what else? What else can I do to really appreciate the, those that I love around me and, and 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 really take advantage of the moments I have now while I'm, while I'm younger uh, and I have, I have this uh, health, everything around me that I just, you know, obviously you know, business business stuff and, and making money is important, but you got to remember having those having those moments with those loved ones is is key to having a, a well a well thought out life and a well lived life you know so again you guys go out and have a fantastic week as always be happy be grateful and go serve others and uh you guys go kill it this week and find some time for your loved ones adios Congratulations on spending a couple of minutes getting a little bit smarter, having some fun, and supporting the Idaho business community. If you're feeling the love, make sure to subscribe, rate, and review on iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever you are.